Cody Whitaker teaches ELA and social studies in the Wynn Parish school system, and he says being on the front lines with the students gives him a perspective of what kids actually need out of an education. I uh, teach them every day. I'm with my fellow educators. You know, we see the disparities that are happening in the classroom as, as it relates to literacy um, and just all in all how teachers are, you know, represented here in the state. Shelly McFarland is a businesswoman in Wynn Parish. She says she would like to see the Jumpstart program expanded to give more students career opportunities. We have a lot of people that do, you know, they don't want to go to college and college isn't for everybody. So it gives them a direction to learn a, a skill and a trade that they can go out and earn good money. McFarland says Bessie should listen to the needs of the school districts, but thinks decisions should be made at a local level. We want um, you know, the, the local school board to handle some of the decisions and and things don't come down the the chute and um, you know, get they just sometimes they feel like, you know, stuff is being shoved down their throat. Whitaker thinks the way for the students of the state to succeed is to put more of an emphasis on the reading component of the education system. The first change that I was pushed for is definitely to um, create uh, a program in regards to literacy for our students. We have seen that we're at, you know, the bottom of the list as it relates to literacy. So I really, really, really want to hone that in and drive that forward. McFarland says teachers have stepped up during the pandemic, but says after her experience with virtual learning through her daughter, she would like to see a return to the classroom. It's hard for her sometimes. She likes to raise her hand and ask a question and get an immediate answer. And teachers are, are busy with their own lives or are there working on lesson plans or, or whatever. And it, it might be, you know, 30 minutes to three hours before she gets an answer. And, and that that's frustrating. Whitaker says after speaking with his fellow teachers, he thinks virtual learning isn't going away, so he would like to see ways to adapt to the situation. Um, maybe to include pay increases to have a virtual teacher available for every district for each grade level. That would be fantastic. That way you have that particular virtual teacher teaching students online, and then you have in-person teachers helping those that are not virtual.